Well, I'm going upon is what's the video is going to be on Mr. Vegas. I don't know if I should say versus Christians or just say versus Lassell Parnell, who is girly, who goes by Mr. Handsome now on Facebook. I'm going to know him as girly because I um, was an actor and that's the stage play name him go by. So Mr. Vegas was talking and then him pull up um girly mugshot and this was around June 15, 16. So I'm going to put a picture right here where him put up girly um, mugshot and him also put up different, different ways of him dressing up as um the character girly and him attack say, how is it that, you know, girly want to do this and do that? Because at that time, a little back and forth was taking place with um um what Dana, I'm going to call her Auntie Dana. Um, girly, he kind of jealous because he didn't want her to promote something. I ah, started to mix up, mix up. But it's seed and like I said, there's sometimes see some things that I want to come and sometimes I feel the vibe, I just not too too pressure. It. But yeah, and then people were coming hard at Mr. Vegas. So Mr. Vegas on the 19th of June, him do, do a video. I'll put the video at the end of this so you can see and hear more. And then him think it would have finished there, so but them still on him case. So today him post and say, How is it that you not go so hard for a registered, you know? A lot of people again did not even know so girly was a registered, you know. Him do, him him do the crime and do the, the, the time here in New York and then him get deported to Jamaica. You can Google it. His right name is Lassell Parnell. So you can Google that and see if him is a registered. What's him not for their own? You know what? Based on our YouTube setup. So him put up a picture and him say, How is it when I go so hard for him? Boy, because my Christian, but yet still, I don't like Dalton and Dalton Harris never yet, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, so I just share the video make want to say exactly what it is. Heal up brothers and sisters, this is Subi. Now from the other day people may come and have a whole heap of venom, some poisonous venom. From some people, see, especially Christians, especially women. Because I talk about a subject where everybody seems like, everybody were against me, I talk about it, seems like they never want more people for know about it. So there I'm post some pictures on my page. For brother name Mr. Handsome, girly. So me just the picture of them show up on my timeline with a man in a dress. So I say, wait, what them Christian address so? I say I act them a act. <laughs> so I post it mischievously, I post the picture of them. And I say, yo, big ratty Christian. Cause you know some is a man born out the Christian them, you know, all the time. See, but I know nothing, you know, so I just try me, I try to tell people, so I trick them, trick me with religion. So I never really mean nothing from the picture of them, like, you know, vindictiveness or nothing. I just being mischievous. See, anyway, somebody in the comments say, the man de, named Lassell Parnell, and he was convicted by in New York. I said, stop playing me. <laughs> stop playing me. Stop playing me. I said, so stop, stop playing, man. Or something like that. I said, yo, stop joking about the thing, man. She said, yeah, man, yeah, man, real thing. Boom, and text me back. So she said, look it up. So I come, so boom, now and type in the name, people. Boom. So the file come right up, man. The file come right up with Mr. Gurley. Convict boy in New York was found guilty 2011 of five counts, five counts placed situation list in the third degree. So the brother deport himself. See him? And they are and say, yo, deport himself. They are Jamaican now. Still I go around children. Claim say I do missionary work. Claim say my Christian I do missionary work. Still I go around children. The government of Jamaica not really protect people from them type of predators, yeah. Because of that based on the case file we have a call this subject predator. See? 
The government of Jamaica not really protect the people them when it comes on to these things. Right? Because of course them say, you know what? The people them have them constitutional rights and them can't really monitor the people them and so forth and so on. But me personally believe that if a man is a third degree which is the, one of the highest degree, that means that this is a possibility that this person gonna repeat the act. That is what third degree mean, you know. It means that a person is a high level predator, you know. That means that this person possible gonna commit the act. The Jamaican government not really monitor them people here, not really put them on no registry or nothing like that so people can know, so you'll be careful. And of course, them turn Christian, so guess what now? Nobody not really pay no mind. So the people them start bomb me out and say, when may I bring up that for? When may I bring up that for? That gone long time. Me I say, long time? Long time? Me not say somebody can change. But me not Must be allowed around kids going into schools and all of them things there. This man is not supposed to even go near a school zone. The teachers them, where they, where they are the school and the principal and all these people, are they aware that this man is a third degree? Are the teachers aware that this man is a convict that served two years, served two years in prison? So the brother put out a statement and said, yo, him know Vegas long time, Vegas used to be in boss and me used to be in supervisor, whatever, we used to drink out a one orange juice box, a box, juice box, him send me a message. Like him thinks that I'm going to stop talking. I said, brother, I wrong person, I tell them thing, you know. Anything your officer go said publicly, make everybody know where I go on. So if you know me, go and go tell the people them say you know me. But this now have nothing to do with when me are talking about. Me I talk about this man and you know, I supposed to just a go around children and people don't know. At least know. So you can look out, so you can give an eye. So even if you don't want things I'm guilty, at, in, innocent, sorry, if you don't want things I'm innocent, at least keep it in your mind and say, you know, you don't know. Video evidence was submitted in court. Let me say him the the video. So, Instead of you now a jump now and want to crucify Vegas. You better you stay neutral and say, you know what, me not really 100% of I want, but me have to make certain say, yo, me take precautions. That's not the right thing for go. Because me not think that a brother yeah, they are going to school. Think says so somebody who can should be allowed in schools around children. May not think so. Now this is the subject data. The subject data put out a statement. She said, "Hello, I'm Ronique." I was three when my mother died, and I was eight when my dad went to jail. I'm so sad. I'm so hurt about what my father did and it hurts me that you all think that he is bad but it kills me inside to know that my dad did those things and I just don't know I just don't want no one to hate me for anything thank you <laughs> so, 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 so it went on to say um, after, after completing you know, a prison term for endangering the world. Brooklyn, Jamaican born actor Lassell Gurley Parnell, 42, has decided to return to his homeland and avoid formal deportation as a result of the charges. Parnell lost his green card resident status and was scheduled for deportation to Jamaica, but he was allowed to remain at the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement um, Detention Facility 
at Port Isabella Service Processing Center in Texas while he fights a medical malpractice lawsuit against a doctor and a Brooklyn Medical Center for the death of his wife. See? So this is, this is something I wanted to pay attention to. Listen to this carefully. The actor is, however, insisting that and noted in 2004 he was charged with endangering the welfare of children who were assisting him to distribute his promotional flyers. I was jailed for 18 days and was placed on probation. This is what the, this is what the subject said in an interview. This subject was charged and placed on probation prior to the incident. He said, but in 2008, I was again accused of endangering the welfare of a minor. That's not what the little boy said. That's not what the court file said. He was charged on six counts. According to the case file, they went on his laptop and found information that was detrimental to him in the case. No, no, you, you have to decide now if it's just a coincidence that on two occasions, this man was found guilty. Maybe this guy is sick. But I know you all want the entertainment and you, and you know, make you laugh and all of these things. Many say people can't change. But me think say, when somebody is a... That person must be monitored. That person must be placed on some form of registry where people can know, say, yo, you're not coming in a certain school zone. We don't leave you around the children in a Sunday school. We don't make you keep prior meeting with little boys because according to the subject, is in church, he met. I don't want to misquote anybody. It, it, it says here, be careful about negative people who will set trap to destroy my character and reputation. Right? He was a, he was arrested. Let me finish by him saying them in, in church. Boom boom bam 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 bam. Some way him saying meet them in a church. Let me can't go through the whole thing. Him saying meet them in a church. Say so if, if you meet these people in church, how you know say now go meet somebody else in church, especially in Jamaica where people are so licky licky.